Hi guys, welcome to Spiritual Tarot Genie and it's time for another Pekka Pekka card reading. So, uh, if you have seen the last video, we have started after doing the Valentine's uh, love reading around Valentine's, we have moved into the journey within, okay? So, continuing with our journey within, today we will be looking into, you know, what is our mind, heart and soul asking us to see that we are not able to see okay so let's get started with the reading if you want to know what is your mind heart and soul asking you to see which you are not able to see okay so let's take this journey within i have these three sets here one two and three close your eyes seek guidance and then open your eyes and see the pile or the stones that you guys are attracted to and that set of readings uh, and that set will have your reading and guidance as to what your mind your heart and your soul wants you to see that you are not able to see that you're not able to understand okay so here is it the first set has this jasper stone the second set has this amethyst stone and the third set has this aquamarine stone. So you can choose your pile you are attracted to and we will get started with the first reading here. So all the people who have chosen the amethyst stone, let's see what is that your mind heart and soul is asking and guiding you to see that you're not able to see guys So to start with, what is that your mind wants you to see that you're not seeing is I feel with four of cups people, uh, I feel that you know, uh, you have some options around you and your mind wants you to have a look into it. Uh, I feel that there is something uh, on the offer, there is something that is being, you know, given to you but you are not able to see that because you are kind of confused you're not able to see you're not able to make a decision of the offers and the options that are being given to you guys it could be related to a relationship it could be related to a career front or it could be related to a business thing but there is something that is on the offer and you're not able to see probably you're not finding as much of uh, you know growth in it or it, you don't find it you don't you're not looking uh it as a very potential thing to go for it and you are kind of unsatisfied and your mind is asking you to look into that offer you don't know what kind of thing it can actually be maybe you know on the surface level it doesn't appear that enticing and that lucrative the job offer that you are not kind of uh, you know accepting it or maybe the partner that you are uh, maybe it's a love interest or maybe you are interested in somebody or somebody is interested in you but you definitely have something being offered to you okay and on the face value of it maybe it doesn't looks very um uh you know enticing and attractive and something that you should go for it and you are kind of you know closed your uh, hands and you are in a very defensive mode and you're in a very not interested kind of a mode but uh, this is what your mind is asking you and you're not accepting it and your mind is asking you to look into it take a little initial step towards uh, understanding what is in, uh, offered being offered to you and don't be naive and just uh, you know uh, signing it off you never know what kind of things it might result into that job offer which you're not interested in it might result into something great 
into a great opportunity people if you are maybe it's a love interest maybe it's uh, any uh, anything that you're not interested in you in in and you are kind of not able to make a decision about it the cards are asking you and your mind is asking you and mind is forcing you to look into it okay and what is your heart asking you to see there is a potential partnership around you people and i think this uh, card very well relates to your what your mind is asking you to see i feel that there is some kind of partnership around you it could be related to again your career or your relationship but there is some uh, partnership around you which has the potential of you know uh, turning out to be a great uh, mutually fulfilling relationship professionally personally it is something that will you will connect at a soul level there is something which is going to result into a win win situation for you people it's going to be something where it is uh, going to bring in a lot of harmony for both of you so definitely your heart is asking you to see into it maybe it relates to a offer that is a uh, your mind is not uh, that you don't understand and even your mind is asking you to see so this is what it is people so your mind is asking you to look into something that you are being offered because it might be very lucrative and it will be for you it will be good for your uh, for you in the long term your heart again is asking uh, you to see around and see if you know there is somebody who who is who can be a very a very good potential partnership that you can have with that person professionally or personally now let's see what your soul is guiding you to see what is that your soul is asking you to peep inside and see and that is to move away from the conflicts okay as a five of wands in reversed it means that your soul is asking you to move away from the conflicts move away from the competition move away from the disharmony move away from the agendas of the people okay it is not asking you to participate in the outside drama okay there could be a lot of people trying to demean you busy in their own agenda busy in their own uh, uh, objectives and that is not for you to look into okay this is not your business and you don't have to rather on focusing on the agenda conflicts competition the card is asking you to seek your own stability seek your own uh, security seek your own um, focus on your own goals focus on what you want okay accept the things that are being offered to you people and look around there is a potential there is a very w potential partnership around you it's going to lead into a win win situation for both of you and if you can realize this you can come out of this uh, uh, not able to see things around only if you move your focus from this competition and this drama that is going around you and you start focusing on what you want okay and what you want is around there and you only have to open your blindfold you have to open your hands and you have to see that what is being offered to you and you will be able to and your mind and your heart and your soul will be guided in the right direction so that is what the tarot is saying uh, guys let's see what oracle cards are telling you all right so let's get started with the goddess guidance have faith that you that your prayers have been heard and are being answered now this is beautiful whatever you have been seeking whatever you have been seeking has been answered through a potential partnership around through a situation that will uh, through a through a way which will lead into a win win situation for anybody and everybody involved in it so yeah what whatever you have asked for your prayers are answered guys and you all have to do is open your blindfold and recognize the opportunities around and don't look dissatisfied with the, what is being uh, you know by the by uh, weighing it on the face value of it you never know what kind of thing can be installed once you delve deep into it okay just don't uh, you know sign it off on the face value and yes because your prayers are being answered 
what is the another oracle guidance for you people allow yourself to give you loving care receive without guilt and apologies let yourself receive absolutely you are uh, i think uh, whatever your heart is um, you know uh, desires whatever you have your mind set on it is being offered to you let yourself receive and you are being offered so why not let yourself receive that is what the cards are telling you that allow yourself to receive don't judge things on the face value now let's see what is the another oracle card guidance what is the universe supporting you people in i am a spirit having a human experience and i am here to get closer to love absolutely i think this really gels on gels gels in with this uh, two of cups that you have got and it says that uh, you are here to get closer to the love so yeah there is a beautiful partnership it could be a love relation uh, you know a love uh, reading for some of you and it could be a relationship reading for some of you okay so and here is it your love is around and all you have to do is open yourself up uh, be in a more receptive mode guys okay don't be in the denial be in the receptive mode accept the things can happen what you want is on its way and then only you will be able to see the uh, signs you will be able to see the synchronicities around and you will be able to get what you want guys okay so this is what it is let's see what is the law of attraction card guiding you to and the law of attraction uh, treats my imagination as reality absolutely so if you are open to receiving and uh, you will be able to see the um, not only what you what is coming your way but uh, also you know kind of value it so this is what it is and i feel that uh, my imagination my imagination as a reality i think the the focus here is completely on you know you not judging things on the face value not looking dissatisfied with the opportunities and the people around you and rather dig deep and see what why the universe is bringing you what it is bringing to you okay because you are clearly not recognizing the opportunities and the, the goodness that surrounds you okay for some of you i feel that it could be a self employment whereas you are a, a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities and you only have to realize and you have to open yourself to realizing so i feel all the people who have chosen the amethyst stone i feel that a lot of nice things uh you know are coming your way uh, it could be um a beautiful mutually uh, fulfilling relationship or it could be a job prospect or it could be a business venture that you want to start and things really working out for it but you really need to become more positive because you will be attracting opportunities and you'll be able to see the prospects in the opportunities already offered only if you are in a more receptive and in a more open frame of mind guys okay so that is what i have for you all of you who have chosen this reading thank you so much for watching guys and now we will be moving on to the next reading so let's move to the another set of reading guys so all of you who have chosen the quagmire aqua quagmire what is that your heart soul and mind is guiding you to look into what you are which you are not able to see okay so let's get started with the mind first and here i have the inverted or the reverse lovers card which clearly makes me to think that um, you i feel this is most probably has to be a relationship reading for a lot of you out there because i feel that uh, you guys are not able to see you know something hidden in uh, the relationship that you are you that you are in presently or uh, maybe have had been into quite possibly you know it relates to something some very deep relationship definitely uh a relationship that you connected at a soul level but probably you guys are going through some difficult patch at the moment in the relationship and uh for some of you it could be that you guys are coming from that uh, uh 
from that difficult time in the past in that relationship and uh, the mind maybe you are looking at this relationship with heart because yes the relationship connects at the heart level but uh, the card in the universe is asking you to maybe put your heart at a hold and try to look into the matter like try to look into the situation whatever it has been the difficulties in the relationship with your mind okay at times it is important that you see things from your mind and you have got two sword cards guys you have got the sword here the seven of six of sword here and you have a king of sword here which clearly makes me to think that you will have to probably take a break from being too um too much into your heart and seeing things from your heart and rather you know even rather you know strike a balance between your mind and your heart and try to look into things from your mind okay uh, try to look at the things with the clarity of your mind okay that is what your soul is telling you to look at the things with the clarity look at the things with the um, be bold in seeking the truth rather than getting carried away by the fluff of it or by the uh you know heart seek to seek the truth and uh, um this is what it is telling i feel that uh, probably there has been issues of trust or uh, disharmony or a lack of balance in the relationship and uh, you guys have been in difficult time though it is a eternal relationship you guys have seen some real uh, lows in your relationship and you are coming away from the difficult patch in your relationship that is what your mind is asking you to see okay look into the relationship with the clarity of your mind with a firmness of your mind look to see the truth of the relationship okay or is your relationship standing on the firm grounds it is standing on the strong grounds strong foundation okay because that will be very important uh your heart is definitely asking you to look and of course as you are going through difficult times you are feeling a little uncertain you are you must be feeling a little there will be anxiety there will be anxiousness there will be uncertainty there will be instability and your heart is asking you to look within and see the abundance that you have within yourself look your heart is asking you to practice gratitude okay to practice and feel the abundance within you to feel the prosperity look towards the prosperity uh, feel the self sufficiency most importantly practice gratitude guys and as you guys are coming from difficult time all of you who have chosen this reading you guys are coming through some difficult times in relationship highly possible and yes the card is asking you to not get you know pulled into the vortex of uncertainty of seeing of seeing only the gloom around or not able to see the silver lining or the positives around the card is asking you to be positive most importantly most importantly in this difficult situation from where you are coming or if you are going through it it is asking you to look for pos positive thinking it it is asking you to look for abundance prosperity it is asking you to practice gratitude because when you are focusing on the positive you are counting your blessings that is what you will attract in your life so law of attraction is also at work here okay so that is what uh, the universe is asking your heart to focus on the abundance the prosperity the happiness the silver lining the self sufficiency that aspect of it okay what is your soul asking you to look into guys your soul is asking as a king of sword is somebody who is very clear in his head somebody who knows somebody who has uh, 
is not scared of taking harsh difficult dis, uh, decisions in his life and somebody who takes a decision on uh, not based on your permanent circumstances but what is going to be more uh, foot f more, more right on the long term basis so yeah the soul is asking you to be uh, be the king of sword to uh, to um, adorn the qualities of a king of sword and uh, take some bold decision if you must take some seek clarity of your mind okay and uh, seek truth seek practicality again think from your mind because that is what you need at the moment to be able to think from your mind guys okay and the if you're able to think from and it's also asking you to balance uh, your mind and heart and not look too much into your heart but rather your mind because mind is going to give you the clarity and show you the way to go the right way okay so let's look into this uh, these are the tarot cards let's let's see what are the oracle guidance for you people uh self forgiveness guys okay uh let go of old guilt and remember that you are god's perfect child is it that you are blaming yourself for something gone wrong in the relationship guys it looks like yeah definitely something has went wrong with the in inverted uh, with the inverse lover something has definitely gone wrong and you guys have are coming from a difficult situation in a relationship or maybe going through it and are you blaming yourself for things going wrong then just understand that uh, there's never one person's fault into something and uh, when you are in a relationship you own everybody owns the relation uh, the responsibility of things working out and things not working out so stop blaming yourself for anything guys okay stop being hard on yourself stop crucifying yourself for things going wrong because uh, it is a life uh, it's a major arcana card and the major arcana cards are life lessons and you cannot be blaming yourself for a life lesson i feel that it had to be a part of your life experience okay so stop forgiving yourself people if you are being too hard on yourself for something going wrong okay and let's see what is the law of attraction guidance for you guys and i and it says i can create my world as i choose now isn't that beautiful because your heart is already asking you to seek the abundance self-sufficiency gra practice gratitude and once you do all these things you will be able to create your own future whatever you set your eyes on okay so you don't have to uh you know be hard on yourself and uh, focus on the positives and you will be able to attract all the positive that you want in your life okay now let's see what is the goddess guidance card for you guys and the goddess white tara says sensitive sensitivity so let's see what the message is you are becoming increasingly sensitive avoid harsh relationship environment situation and chemicals absolutely yes as a king of sword you will have to not only protect yourself but you will also have to cut off the toxic relationship and anything that is not for your highest good you have to take this bold decision for your own good people okay if you are into a job if you are into a relationship that is not serving you people then you will need to take some bold decisions and you will have to protect yourself because you guys are increasingly sensitive okay you are blaming yourself for things going wrong and it's not your problem people just understand that okay you need to protect yourself okay this is what the message is even if it comes at letting go of the toxic people and the toxic environment around you okay let's see what is the universe guides uh, universe is guiding you to when i am in alignment with love of the universe peace cannot be disrupted absolutely when you are focusing on the positive when you are practicing gratitude abundance prosperity self sufficiency self worth 
okay self worth forgive yourself people self worth then you will be getting all that you deserve okay but you will have to value yourself you have to stop blaming yourself for things going wrong because everybody is equally responsible in a thing going wrong and uh, be kind to yourself and start looking at the positive because you are clearly moving into from the difficult times into the good times okay so that is what i get from the cards people i hope that you can find some insight from it and thank you so much for watching and now we will be moving on to the next reading so guys it's time for the third reading and all the people who have chosen the jasper stone Let's see what is your mind, soul and heart asking you to see what you are not able to see. Okay, so this reading I am going to start with the soul search. Okay, what is your soul asking you to tell you and I am going to be moving towards your mind and heart. And as you can see that you guys have got two awesome beginnings. Okay, as Ace of Wand and Ace of Cups. So this is going to be really crackling and earth shattering but let's hit to the soul first okay so i feel that uh, most of you who have chosen this reading you guys are kind of struggling with something as in there are little challenges around you remember this card comes from five of wands where there was a lot of hostility there was a lot of conflicts there was a lot of agendas playing around you people right and i feel that yes there are still agendas there is still conflict there is still hostility around but your soul is asking you to not give up it's not the time to compromise it's not the time to give your territory to somebody else okay is the time to what your soul is telling is telling to you is to it's time to fight for yourself it is the time to take on the challenges it's the time to defend your corner it is the time that you should take the high road and protect yourself protect your territory stand for what you believe in okay it's not the time for compromise or think of uh, damages that can come in or uh, you know being weak in your knees it is clearly time to protect yourself and fight it out okay this is what your soul is asking you to do it it's not the time to be weak and timid it could be that you are standing your ground for a lot of you people against some woman some lady it could be you are trying to stand your ground against uh, what you deserve you know you have been working hard and you are not getting your dues and you are really fighting it out for that and you must fight it out because you have worked hard for it okay so it could be some uh, it could be a lady love that you are kind of uh, fighting your ground against or it could be you know you are fighting your ground for all the abundance prosperity uh, that you are worthy of that you have worked hard for okay and the cards are telling you clearly that you are deserving of what you have worked for and don't hang your boots fight for yourself this is what your soul is asking you to look for okay now it is telling you not this is not the time for compromise okay and why should at all it be a time of compromise when you have this beautiful aces waiting for you guys in your heart and in your mind okay so if at all the situation is not working out and if instead of compromising and staying in a situation that is not serving you look into your heart guys look into your mind and your mind and heart will guide in you guide you into new beginnings okay that uh, universe might is bringing in for you okay your heart let's move to the heart card now what is your heart asking you to look at and the heart is asking you to look at a new beginning okay as the ace of wand it is clearly asking you to look at uh, you guys have the energy you guys have the passion you guys have the uh, the enthusiasm to look at the new beginning that most possibly is coming your way 
why just stuck in the rut why not move ahead and start a new beginning you know the leaves the see this one guys a new leaves are coming in that is the indication of a new possibility coming in your life a new potential coming in your life but you are busy fighting your own fight okay you are just struggling here you can always look at a new side of the life there could be a beautiful beginning waiting for you but you are engrossed in fighting for your right here you are fighting for a survival whereas you can just see see the other way you can be strong you can be courageous and you can see and start a new beginning filled with passion energy it can take you it's a it's a wand it can take you to a new place where you will thrive where as you are here struggling it could be a new job it could be you are struggling in a present job it could be that you are kind of uh, struggling in a relationship and there could be a beautiful relationship waiting for you you never know right this is a ace of cup and ace of cup is all about starting off something that is close to your heart and this is what your mind is should mind is guiding you guys your mind is guiding you to start something that is close to your heart and that will bring you eternal peace and satisfaction and uh, contentment right rather than fighting it out rather than fighting it out on a daily basis going to that job that doesn't makes you happy and is a struggle daily getting up and going to that office that is not motivating at all that is not inspiring the heart is asking you to look for inspiration because it is around you it is asking you to for look for new beginnings people new beginnings it is basically asking you to look out for doing something that is close to your heart and look out for some sort of beginning it could be a uh, maybe moving out from your comfort zone or a place sorry which is not serving you any further and for your own better good for your own higher good okay so that is what i'm getting from these tarot cards now let's see how the oracle cards are supporting your tarot readings okay so let's get started with the um, the goddess guidance true love okay so the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver your great love to you wow this goes beautifully well i think a lot of you people you know might be struggling in a relationship or you are not into a relationship at all then i feel that the universe is bringing you some new beginning that will make your heart jump with joy so there is a new beginning that it could be a new job that is really close to your heart and it could be a new relationship it could be a new anything new that is going to make your heart sing and your and you dance so yeah for you a lot of you it is i think a new new relationship is on its way and it makes sense perfectly with your ace of cups there awesome what is the law of attraction card for you guys and the i attract the essence of whatever pleases me okay so this is more of a law yeah of course it is a law of attraction card and it is clearly telling you that whatever you guys focus your mind on you will attract that so instead of struggling in a situation that is a challenge every day which is not motivating which is not inspiring why not look out for a new beginning huh why not look out for a new beginning and you if you look out for a new beginning you will attract a new beginning you will attract a new potential you will attract the new things in your life okay so yeah goes perfectly well here what is your oracle guidance from dolphins and mermaids make a wish how beautiful can it get hmm? and i think it beautifully is going on with these two aces because two aces makes for a crackling new and good times waiting for you to just realize it okay waiting waiting for you to unleash the potential and grab it so make a wish card guys what is it that guiding you to this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation woo don't struggle in the situation don't cow down don't be timid and settle for the rest okay instead take a decision be courageous take bold actions and look out for new beginnings look out for beginnings which is going to bring your bring you love and which will make you happy okay then 
that just uh, compromising and being and uh, uh, in that rut guys okay so make a wish believe in yourself and look out for new beginnings because there are two new beginnings waiting for you guys and see it happening for you okay awesome awesome what is the universe guiding you people into instead of praying for an attitude for an outcome i pray for the highest good for all okay so yeah that is what it is instead of you know kind of just sitting there and struggling with things praying for things to just uh, happen in, on its own take a step and look out for new beginnings okay and you will have whatever you want it's as simple as that guys and it's beautiful okay so awesome 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 for you guys who have chosen this jasper reading for you guys and um, thank you so much for re, um, watching this video. I hope that you guys could get some insight by watching this video. And do let me know in the comment box, guys, if it helped you, what you feel about the reading. And I will see you again with another pick a card reading. Till then, take care of yourself and bye.